And breaking tonight, we are learning more about President Trump's new communications platform called From the Desk of Donald J. Trump, the announcement coming just ahead of Facebook's decision tomorrow about whether to reinstate the pages of President Trump, who was censored by the platform earlier this year. You know, it's just one of many acts of tech tyranny in recent months, like how Twitter censored the New York Post story about Hunter Biden's laptop before the election and falsely claimed it was obtained by hacking. And get this, speaking for Mr. Uh, Zero Experience, Hunter Biden, apparently he's doubling down on failure because after his memoir, Beautiful Things, flopped in sales, he sold less what 10,000 his first week. Hunter says he's writing a sequel. Hunter, maybe in this book you can explain how you inked the deal after deal with Ukraine and oligarchs in Kazakhstan and in Russia and China and shopping sprees. Maybe you could tell us where that uh, experience of yours got us or did you have any qualifications whatsoever uh, about uh, on any of these issues? And did you lie on the gun application form? about your record on the issue of substance abuse. But of course, just like we've been telling you, the media mob, big tech, they are now acting as an arm of the Biden and the new Green Deal Democratic Socialists. And as Josh Hawley, the senator, warns in his new book, if Republicans don't take action now, America will be transformed forever and will silence our speech and upend our system of government. Here to explain more, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Look, you've been through a lot. You know, Regnery, I know, ultimately published your book. It was actually the same publisher as me and Levin that originally planned to publish your book. Uh, they're the ones trying, apparently people in the company, trying to silence uh, Vice President Pence's book. You've heard about that as well. Yeah, this is a pattern, Sean, where you look at these these corporate, these big woke corporations, as Simon & Schuster is the publisher you're referring to, who uh, commissioned my book and then, and then canceled it, and uh, is under pressure to cancel a lot more conservatives. And the left is not going to rest until they get every mega corporation in America to do their bidding. And big tech is the worst. Big tech has more power than any monopoly in our history. The left wants to use that monopoly power to censor our speech, to shut us down, to run our government. We can't let it happen. You know, cancel culture is nothing new to me or to any conservative radio talk show host. In all 33 years of me being on the radio, I've had to deal with this. 25 years, believe it or not, here at Fox, I've had to deal with this. People that want to shut you down, silence you. But now it's even gotten worse because you, you, as far as I'm concerned, by censoring, for example, the, the New York Post story, as big tech did, isn't that an in-kind donation for Joe Biden? Boy, I sure thought so, which is one of the reasons at the time, Sean, I asked the Federal Election Commission to look into that very question. I said, how is it that these tech companies seem to be coordinating with the Biden campaign and, and doing them a lot of good by, by arbitrarily shutting down that story, stopping its circulation. You know, I think Twitter had the post locked out for, what was it, like two weeks from, the, from their platform, from platform, their own Twitter account. And then in January, we saw these same companies get together, cancel Parler, a conservative competitor, throw Donald Trump off of social media, throw a bunch of other conservatives off. These companies are monopolies, Sean. They have too much power. The liberals want to have this liberal, big government, big business alliance. We need to break it up. I said for years, the, the only antidote to liberal media, and I, I actually said on this program in 2007, journalism's dead. I was right. I was more right than I knew. Uh, to me, I, and then I used to say, we've got to become the media. So conservatives found an outlet, talk radio. Uh, Fox News is now in its 25th year. There was never a Fox News before. Isn't it really, isn't the real antidote to, I know Parler tried it to compete with Twitter. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't work. I don't know. But to create their own social media platforms to bypass these other companies. In other words, their own Twitter, their own Facebook, uh, their own YouTube, their, their own Instagram. And I know there are efforts yeah. to do this, but that to me seems like the only answer. Yeah, that's you're talking about competition, Sean, and you're exactly right. What we need is real competition. Why do these companies 
get by with ignoring 75 million Americans and trying to censor them. It's because they don't have any real competition. And this is what we have monopoly laws for. This is what trust busting is for. It's to open up space for competition. You know, I'm not a big fan of, of trying to regulate these companies at this, that, uh, telling what they, what they can and can't say. That's what the Democrats want to do. What we need to do is we need to bust up these trusts and get real competition in social media, real competition in technology, take away the power that these people have amassed. By the way, they've amassed it using big government. It's because of the big government handouts that these big tech companies have gotten so powerful. So we need to stop the gravy train, we need to break up their monopolies, and we need to get real competition back in the market. All right, congrats on your new book, Senator Josh Hawley. We appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.